one of the main reasons that heat printers love working with heat transfer vinyl is because of all the different finishes that you can achieve. For those of you that are working with different heat transfer vinyl but haven't dabbled into mixing those medias to create really standout designs, this is the perfect video for you. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can create a look like this that pairs two different heat transfer vinyl medias and create a split text effect so that we can take a basic text design and take it to the next level with these two products. First, let's start at CADWorks Live and then we'll walk through the rest of the process. The split text effect design is a very simple process. All we're gonna do is start by selecting add text in the upper left-hand corner. And you're just going to type in the text of whatever um, word or saying that you want to create the split text effect with. So as you can see from the example on the screen, we're going to be doing the split text effect on the word touchdown. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my first word and I'm going to change this to our athletic five font. All right. So as you can see here, these letters are pretty spaced out. Um, so I'm just going to decrease my character spacing to 0.10. And I'm going to duplicate that and type in down. I'm also going to adjust my character spacing once more to about 0.15, just to make sure that I am not going too large. I do want these to match as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is actually increase this back out just by a few. All right, so just playing with the words just to make sure that they're exactly how you want them to look. All right, so once you're happy with that, um, what you're going to do is actually group these together. So I'm going to go to shaping and select condense. All right, so now it's reading as one group. And my next step is to select add clip art. So for this, we're just looking for a horizontal piece of clip art. So I just selected a single line here. And I'm actually going to zoom into this so we can get a better view of what we're doing here. All right, so I'm going to take this line up. And since these are the same color, I wanna be able to see where my line is actually lying across my text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this. All right, so I want my line to be pretty center. Um, of the word touch and then I'm going to do a duplication of that line and drop it down um, here to about center of my second word right now I'm just going to group these together by going to shaping and condense and I'm going to select both images so I'm selecting the lines I'm also selecting my text here and then I'm just going to punch those lines through and go to shaping back minus front, remove that. And now we have our split text effect, right? So this is a really unique way to create this. It can be single color if that's how you choose to do it. Since we are doing a mixed media series with a variety of these different looks, I am going to break these apart and add in another color. By adding in another color, um, it increases my profit opportunity. It creates a um, more unique look to the effect as opposed to just standard text. So split text um, is a really great way to add some uniqueness to just a simple design or basic text. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add in that second color. So we're gonna do shaping and break apart by regions. So this is gonna break apart every single piece. So now that we have uh, that split punched through each letter, you'll see that those are now showing up as individual items, okay? Um, so what we did was just created a color block effect by just selecting the middle portions of our text here and changing that color. All right, and I do want those colors to be grouped together. So I'm gonna to go to shaping 
and select condense. All right, and now I'm just going to make sure everything else is grouped together. So I'm just selecting all of my yellow pieces and condensing them. And now I want to condense my yellow together. So I'm going to select both of those and group those together as one image. All right, so that's how easy it is to do a split text effect. Essentially, all you're doing is adding a piece of clip art, um, like a horizontal image. It doesn't have to be a straight line. Um, that does create a very precise and clean look, but it could be something different if you wanted to do a um, chevron style of a line or something a little bit more creative, you have the ability to do that. Just anything horizontal. Now, uh, taking it to the next step, you're going to add in your um, extra customizable pieces. So we did here for the... And we changed that font to one of the new fonts re recently added in cadworkslive.com, which is the silhouette script. And I'm just going to size that down. Make sure everything is nice and centered. Actually undo before we center, we wanna make sure that our split text stays together. So we're going to condense that before we center our script text. All right, so align center. I want my text up here to match the royal blue. So we're going to go ahead and change that. And then I'm just going to add in a little mascot. Um, this can be any mascot. There's a variety of mascot selections to choose from under that folder. And I'm just going to add a paw print. And make that royal as well. And center once more just to make sure, make sure everything is lined up exactly how we want that to be. So that's how easy it is to create a unique next level design with simple text. So we're just taking a standard here for the touchdowns um, design and creating that next level look uh, by just adding in a simple split text and color blocked effect. Now let's go ahead and cut out our heat transfer vinyl and heat apply. Now that our designs are cut out, we can go ahead and weed away the excess material. I'm gonna start by weeding out the CAD Cut Ultra Weed in bright red. Now I'm gonna weed out the CAD Cut Glitter Flake. And before I do that, I'm just gonna give my lower heating platen of my heat press, a quick little touch just to heat that up. Once you're weeding out both designs, you can just go ahead and template those in. Lay them down, make sure everything's lining up correctly. And now we can go ahead and load on our t-shirts and heat apply so that you can see exactly how this application should look. The shirt that we're gonna be using for this application is by District, which is sourced from Sanmar. And this is a 100% cotton t-shirt which both our heat transfer vinyls that we're using work great with. So I'm just splitting my t-shirt and loading this on the A to Z heat press. Now I'm just going to test my pressure and give my t-shirt a preheat. 
Preheats are necessary for releasing any wrinkles or moisture in the fabric that can keep us from getting an accurate application. Now what we need to do is take our templated design and put that down on the shirt. This is going to help us line up our ultra weed because that is the first application that we wanna do. The reason that we are doing ultra weed first is because we do have some overlay here where the glitter flake does lay over top of the ultra weed once this is placed down. So we're gonna tack the ultra weed for three to five seconds. After we've tacked for that three to five seconds, we're gonna go ahead and peel the CAD Cut Ultra Weed. It is a hot peel, so I can just go ahead and remove that carrier. And now we can place our glitter flake. Now, anytime you are working with a matte heat transfer vinyl and a glitter heat transfer vinyl, what you wanna do is make sure that you are not applying the glitter flake for the full dwell time on the first application. The reason being, and you can probably see this through the video now, is that the Mylar carrier that the glitter flaky transfer vinyl is laminated to, it holds on to some of those glitter particles. Now, if I were to apply this for the full application, those glitter particles would transfer down onto the CAD Cut Ultra Weed, which ultimately could create a cool effect, but if you wanna keep this a matte finish, we wanna make sure that that's not happening. We can avoid that by just tacking the glitter flake for two to three seconds and then removing that carrier. After that tack, I can go ahead and peel that carrier back. And now that we have both products tacked, and as you can see, no glitter particles transferred over to the Ultra Weed, what I wanna do now is apply for the full application. So whenever you're pairing Glitter Flake and Ultra Weed, what you wanna do is go with the application settings of the Glitter Flake because that is the product that applies at the highest temperature. You can find those application instructions at the link in the description. And once that final application is complete, our split text effect is done. So you can see how this takes a really basic font design and takes it to the next level by being able to implement a split text effect that includes multiple colors and also a special effect, which is going to yield a higher profit opportunity. Split text effects in your heat transfer vinyl designs is just one of many ways that you can create really cool mixed media effects. For more information on these products, visit the links in the description. And to learn more about different mixed media applications, visit the other videos in this series.